In a video which is doing the rounds on social media, fresh People's Liberation Army recruits from mainland China are seen hysterically crying in a bus, which is reportedly shipping them off to a military camp in Hebei province. <laughs> After which, they would be posted in China-occupied Tibet to commit human rights violations and fight India along the line of actual control. The video, which shows about a dozen Chinese youth crying, has caught the attention of the world community, which cannot stop reacting hilariously to the plight of young Chinese students forced to take on a formidable Indian army as soon as they are recruited to the CCP-owned militia. According to Taiwan News, the footage was originally posted on the WeChat page of Fuyang City Weekly, but it was soon deleted. The original post shows 10 fresh recruits from Fuyang City's Yingzhou district in China's Anhui province. All of the new troops were reportedly college students, and five of them had proactively volunteered to serve in Tibet. In the video, the soldiers can be seen sobbing hysterically as they struggle to sing the words to the PLA song, Green Flowers in the Army. Chinese soldiers are terrified at the prospect of facing a battle-hardened Indian army in the Himalayas, as it has been demonstrated to the Paper Dragon in no uncertain terms that the Indian soldiers are capable of completely obliterating their Chinese counterparts. By their own admission, China knows that when it comes to mountain warfare, the Indian army is an unparalleled force to whose capabilities no modern army comes even close around the world. The Chinese soldiers, in any case, have been facing the wrath of their Indian counterparts for quite some time now, with the Indian army inflicting unprecedented casualties upon the PLA soldiers who tried to launch a guerrilla operation in Galwan Valley on June 15th this year. There is a palpable fear of 16 Bihar Regiment, which obliterated the PLA in Galwan Valley and to add to Chinese soldiers' woes, India has also brought in this highly specialised and covert Special Frontier Force comprising of Tibetans to Eastern Ladakh. As such, the PLA soldiers are mere cannon fodder along the de facto Sino-India border. A plausible explanation for the Chinese recruits breaking into tears and sobbing can be the thought of them having to leave their families while not knowing whether they will be meeting again, considering the fact that the soldiers are being deployed to face India along the Himalayas. As we have explained earlier, the Chinese army is now comprised totally of wimps and sissies who are frightened at the mere thought of fighting India. Further, Chinese soldiers have been pampered by their families as little emperors, owing to the one-child policy of China, which has done the country more harm than good. Chinese soldiers are also seen to be generally incapable of surviving the winters of Himalayas, particularly in Ladakh, along the line of actual control. While the Indian army almost seamlessly adapts to the winter chills, which can drop to excruciating temperatures of minus 30 degrees Celsius, the Chinese forces retire away from the Himalayas during winter months. The PLA usually lands in southern Tibet for military exercises only during the summer months. This year, however, the militia comprising of Wussis is being made to stay put in eastern Ladakh for the entirety of winters, as the tense standoff between India and China shows no signs of getting resolved anytime soon. The effects of winter are already taking a toll on the PLA troops, as a section of Chinese soldiers are now being evacuated from the heights due to health complications arising from high altitude. For one week now, the Indian Army has observed that some of the PLA troops are being evacuated on stretchers from the heights of Finger 4 in Pengongso Lake to a field medical facility ahead of Finger 6 due to health complications linked to high altitude. While the Chinese forces have no wartime experience which they can count on for taking on a battle-hardened Indian military, the People's Liberation Army also suffers from quite a unique problem, that of its little emperors being addicted to excessive masturbation, which in turn has been found to hamper their combative performance. What also acts as a major differentiator between Indian and Chinese forces is the love of motherland in the hearts of the Indian soldiers, while the Chinese soldiers are generally forced to fight for the CCP and bear no sense of love towards their land. The conflict with India is being fought by China from Tibet, a land which is not Chinese per se, but which is rather under illegal Chinese occupation.
With everything going wrong against them, it is only expected of Chinese recruits to cry their hearts out when leaving their homes for taking on India. What also adds to the sadness among Chinese soldiers is the Chinese Communist Party regime hiding their deaths and not honouring them like India remembers its brave hearts. They therefore realise that they are not more than mere expendables in China whose lives don't matter.